Welcome back. This video, we're going to do the blogger blogs part two, how to actually start my blogs. We last left you at this screen that says my blogs. It was the next screen to that social studies learning log. Let me go back and refresh your memory. Once you went into bloggers home, it will open up looking like this. Later on, I'm going to have a video on how to do the reading list so you can follow your peers. You can create a whole new blog or continue with the one you have. We're going to continue with the one you have by clicking there. And it opens up to that page where we had the settings for safety and everything. Okay, so as it says, you want to do a new post. Okay. You need a title to the post. We're doing your first artifact. You could say artifact one, one dash who am I? You could do that. You can name it just who am I? Or who am I? Artifact one and hit save. So you had any three choices. Okay. Once you have that in there, if you remember in Google Docs, you guys have been working on and typing up your information. Okay, so let's open that, that Google Doc. To get to Google Docs, remember at the bottom of your screen you should have a little magnifying glass or even better yet, you have this icon that looks like the blue and the white here. Okay. Doesn't zoom that part in. Bummer. So I'm going to hit my apps. And in my apps, it does not show my Google Drive or my docs. I've had open other things. So I'm going to open my drive because I remember I can get to it through my drive where I saved my folders. Okay. So here we go. Mm, oh. Yep, there's my social studies 2015 that I made up and you as well. Okay, so double click to open it. And there is the blog in Word. Like I said on the Chromebook, so this icon should be at the bottom of your screen. So if you click the icon, it'll open up. And there is your blog. Okay. After you've finished fixing whatever needs to be fixed up here to make it your information, information in this part here, <clears throat> and then explained not only what it should have looked like, but maybe what did you do instead? How did you make a mistake on your MLA heading? Finally, down here, I need you to include names of people and what exactly was their cultural element that you connected with. Okay, let's assume that you finished typing everything. I'm going to have you highlight it all. Two fingers. One is to drag this blue line up or down, whichever way you wanted to. And the other one keeps your mouse clicked down. Once you have highlighted everything, you do a keystroke, which is called Control C. Now, if you don't remember the Control C, which you're going to start memorizing, you can also push Alt and right and click your mouse and it will open up. Sorry, I'm on a Mac. It will open up so that you can get the command to copy such as this. Okay, 
once you've copied your, your information, you open up your blog again. Sorry, too many windows up here. And you click in it and you push Control V. What just happened is everything that you had on that paper that you had highlighted has now been pasted into your blog. All right. Yes, there was a typo here. Um, you want to fix that um, to make it proper because incorrect, as my Grammarly points out, incorrect verb with plural subject because we have traditional food, clothing, music, traditions. See, took off the S. Now my verb is not wrong. Okay, continuing on. You can save this. You can preview it. And it tells you you're in preview. Hit the back button to take go back and do some more editing. Okay. I love the thinking mechanism here. That's cute. Okay, as Miss Pagilia's mind finally worked, I am back. You don't hit the back button to go out of the preview. You just hit the click the tab to the left. Preview is here, tab is here. Okay, so we are there. We now need to link your finished product. I know a lot of you guys were asking me, how do I do this? So here it goes. As you see, I highlighted it. I'm going to remove. All right, we highlighted the link, the, the word. Here is the link to my finished product. I want to link it to my collage in my folder. So you come up here to the word link. Later on, if we do a pictures, you can just insert the picture or if you do a video or other things, okay? But right now we're just going to link to the PDF file. Click link. You're going to use the web address, okay? We need to know what the web address is. So back to your Google Drive folder. Since I do not have, let me go to the student scans folder. Remember, you've already transferred yours from the scan folder into your personal social studies folder by downloading and moving it over. So I'm just going to go here and, oh, really good. Thank you, Haley. There's two different things that you'll notice here. Haley has a PDF and a JPEG. We've been scanning them all as PDFs so we could get both sides. The JPEG is a picture format. Later on, if we just do one-sided images, you will do, be able to do JPEGs. So good job, Haley, for doing this so I can use this example. So we click, you click on your item. Up here, it has a button that says share. Click on the person with the little plus sign. Okay. Now, as we're doing a private blog, we don't really have to change this. However, it's a great habit for you to change it. Because sometimes you want to show your parents and they are not logged in or something like that and they cannot see it. So say you want to email your grandparents your picture. Unless you change this link, they will not see it. 
how to change it. I can click the drop down button, but it only gives me anybody at the Twin Falls School District can view, comment, or edit the link. We want other people to be able to do it. I click the more. We want to select anyone with the link can have access to it. They do not have to sign in to be required. I do want you to just to keep it can view. Later on, you're going to be working with partners where you're going to change it to edit or comment. Right now, you're just viewing. Hit save. Okay, now the link is here. Hit copy link. It has already copied it to the clipboard. Come back over to your blog and click inside the box, press the buttons control V and that now just pasted it into your spot. If you cannot figure out the control V buttons, just push your alt and your mouse and it will give you the paste option there. But control V is a lot faster and easier to use. You can test the link, make sure it opens it up, which is a great habit to get into as well. And it looks like it's working. And as you can see, it opened up. Here is your artifact and you're ready to go on. We can close that down. Okay, I tested it. I also want to make sure that the link is opens into a new window. That's what happens with these up here. You'll notice that they open it to a new tab. Hit OK. Now that you've typed everything up, you've done it in Google Docs first, so you can just copy and paste it over. You're ready to save it. Hit the save button. When you are done, you're going to say the word publish. This will now make it available to your readers. So, here is my one I just created. Okay. If I want to view the blog to see what it looks like in my blog itself, or what other people are going to see when they come to me, right here. I've made two postings in my blog. There's that one and the one I just did with you right now. As you see, it keeps the date. That's why it's like a diary. You can change it. The layout look like this if you want. Okay. I hope that helped you create your new and first blog. We will create many more this year. Thank you for watching.